there. I am Juliana McMillan Wolfe. I am one of the co hosts of this wonderful GIS Day event, and I am so utterly thankful that you are going to be attending our event. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of what our Discord server is, just so that you can better navigate on the day of our event. So Discord is a really great platform that is increasingly being used within the geospatial community. So um, there's a number of reasons why we chose it, but part of it is that there are a lot of online platforms for events that go away after the event. And we wanted there to be a platform where you could continue to message and connect with people after the event, um, as well as maybe encourage you to get involved in some of the other things that are happening on Discord. You don't have to, no worries. So to find where this is happening, if you go to the event right page where you purchased your ticket, there's a link to the um, online event and that will take you to Discord where you will be prompted to sign up and et cetera. So one other thing um, to be aware of with, event, um, with Discord is that uh, we are asking that you make sure that your name that you're using for this event reflects your actual name. So if you have a Discord um, that you've set up that you maybe use for other things, to so say you're a gamer or whatever, the way that you would change your name for our GIS Day event is if you just go up to GIS Day 2021 and just edit server profile, and just put in your actual name right there. Um, if you've already set up your name to be your name, fantastic, and uh, that's great. One other thing that you may want to do is to provide additional information about yourself. So let me just go over here. And so Eva Reed, who is also the co-host of this event, if I click on her profile, um, she's currently offline. You can We can see a little bit about her, a quick bio, as well as we can um, connect to her LinkedIn, as well as go to her website because she has uh, that bio already set up. I really encourage you to, to take the few minutes to create a bio and that information. That's just going to make it so much easier for people to connect with you. So to do that, just go here to the bottom of the screen where it says user settings, and then you want to go to user profile, where it says about me, just so, um, you know, type in that basic inf information about yourself and that um, will really help you know people connect with you also would love it if you just put a picture of yourself as well just so again that we can um, see you and get to know you a little bit more in this virtual event so for the most part um you know this is going to be a live event where we're going to be having um live networking so um, what in part um, makes Discord really great is that it is really easy to jump in between rooms um, or what are called voice channels on Discord. So um, just to give you a, a quick overview, we have what are called text channels. And so that's where you, you can type things in. So right now um, I've selected under text channels general. And so I could then send a message in here um, right, that, that everyone could view, so you could, we're really encouraging you to, um, to state a little bit about who you are, give us an overview, right, so that this is where text things happen. We will be kicking off our event um, in, by having a general live session where um, just we'll bring everyone together, and so to join that, you will just um, click in this um, general and right now it is just me in there and I can't have my video in two places, but you can turn your video on by actually turning on the camera right down here. And, um, you know, can't, can't have the camera to two places, but that that's where that is. If you wanna leave that session, you just go disconnect. And then um, you can also though jump between it different places. So we have some awesome sponsors for our, our event. And um, so their names will actually be listed here during the event. And so you could just, um, you know, pop in, chat with the sponsor. Again, um, you just click down here. If I want to just go to video, I could see them. I can chat with them and get, get to know about them. But again, I want to leave and I want to go to another conversation. Absolutely amazing. I can then go over to our environmental GIS room again. Click that video, 
I'll be able to see their video. I can unmute myself. I can chat with people and that's really great. Um, but one of the other things and reasons why we selected Discord for our event is that I can easily have an offline conversation with people. So I can send Eva a message. Hey Eva, um, I'm testing, you know, I'd um, love to have a conversation about something you said during the GIS day event. Let me chat more. And that just got sent to her. And so now we have this, you know, um, running dialogue between us. So anyway, that is a quick overview of how to use Discord. I am so incredibly thankful uh, for everyone who's coming to our event. It is going to be amazing. Let me know what questions you have.